wonderful healing in the life of Mr. Lenin Omega, a Kenyan who came with cancer of the blood. This gentleman has got cancer. His blood takes long to clot, so the nurse keeps bleeding. Brother Omega Lenin is receiving healing from this cancer, which also led to the death of his parents. But today Jesus Christ is setting free Brother Omega Lenin. Now the man of God is praying for him, normalizing the flow of blood in his system. This boy who brought him, tell us the story. My name is Elizabeth Omega from Kenya. Elizabeth Omega from Kenya. This is my nephew. He loves his parents. So we are taking care of him. Uh, his problem was, he started by the rearing. Then uh, they, it was persistent, the rearing. So doctors tried to stop the diarrhea, but they were unable. And then eventually he started bleeding. So he has been bleeding all along. From the rectum. And then now from the nose. So you we are being told so much about the boy that he had a tumor in the stomach which which busted. They were trying to transfuse him. And even yesterday, yesterday we left the ward at 10 after being transfused. And the doctors said they were unable to control the situation. In Kenya, we have a channel on the TV called God, God TV. TV channel, it was God TV. Sayari. Sayari. So we normally watch the man of God. And we normally see the miracles he does. And we say we must bring our boy here. So without Christ Jesus' intervention, the flow of blood cannot stop. Now, gentlemen. Christ Jesus has healed you. Yes, Christ, I'm a couponer. I want our doctor to come and remove the plaster. Jagala ba sa uba feba jeva jeko plaster no. Brethren, healing has been declared in the life of Brother Mega Lenin. From that moment, Mr. Lenin Omega was totally healed and free. Three days later, he came back to testify to God's glory. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Lenin Omega. My name is Lenin Omega. Mimi natoka western part of Kenya. I come from the western part of Kenya. Kusema kweli mimi nilikuja hapa kwa shida ya kansa. Blood cancer. To say the truth, I came here with the problem of blood cancer Kweli damu yangu haingeweza kuclot My blood would not clot Nilikuwa na hara damu I would diarrhea blood Damu inatoka kwenye mapua bila kupoa And I would not bleed through the nose and Nili... it would not stop Nilikuwa nimelala kila wakati I would stay in bed all the time Kenya nimetembea hospitali tatu in Kenya, I've gone in three different hospitals. Doctors have been doing experiments on me. I lived for three weeks. Wakati mtu mishi kakande hali niombea. When the man of God prophet Simon kakande prayed for me. Akika hali nishika kwenye kichwa changu. The moment he touched my head. Nilikuja ni mefungu wa mapua. I came when my nose was bandaged because of the nose bleeding. Nilipumua na mudomo kutoka Kenya mpaka hapa. I was breathing through my mouth from Kenya up to here. Wakati mtu mishi wa mungu kakande hali niombea. When the man of God prayed for me. Damu nilisikia inakimbia ndani badala ya kutoka. I, I felt the blood flowing back not coming out. Na nikamshukuru Mungu. And I thank the Lord. I say thank you. My name is Omega Elizabeth from Kenya. Amanya gangenze Elizabeth ngamva Kenya. This boy is my nephew. Ono chizibwe wange. 
These are the uncles of the boy. We came from Kenya on Wednesday night. We discharged this boy from the hospital at midnight. Because doctors said they were unable. He didn't have blood totally. And even him coming from Kenya all the way to this place was a miracle. Because he could not be able to walk. We normally watch the man of God. We see the miracles that he normally performs. So it's actually a miracle. Because before we came, I called the office. I told them I have a sick boy. And he cannot be able to wake up. The secretary told me he would tell the man of God. And the man of God would pray for him. He would feel better. And then we would come. Indeed, that is what happened. He did have blood totally. He was dehydrated totally. They were using a bed. Bearing about in a country where we take a young side of the world, so you can imagine all the way eight hours from Kenya to this place we were able to reach. It was a miracle. He could not be able to squat. He could not be able to bend. He could not be able to walk. But now I believe he can be able even to do headstand. And that same day when the servant of God prayed for him. He was able to bet by himself. So he was fit. The bleeding stopped. He doesn't have any problem at all, at all, at all. He has an appetite. He is eating very well. The message we are going to take to Kenya. We are going to is that they should know that God is able. And that their faith needs to increase in God. Because actually in Uganda you are so much privileged. You have to stand up in God. You have to stand up in God. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The prayer made in faith by Prophet Samuel Kakande marked the end of blood cancer in the life of Mr. Lenin Omega. With men, this is impossible, but with God, all things are possible. And now, let us see the merciful hand of God in the life of Mr. Lenin Omega after 13 years, God is faithful. Praise Jesus, people of Uganda. Yes, yes, Uganda. My names are Omega Lenin. Omega Lenin. Beside me is my lovely aunt. Called Elizabeth Omega. She has been my good aunt. All through my life. I got a testimony. And I want you to feel it. And I want you to know what brought me to this place. As you can see, I have a crown. And only that blind person will tell that I'm not uh, from the government of, of, of some other country. I was sick. Back in 2006, when I was in Form 4, I was sick. Sickness came all of a sudden. And then I could not do anything. I could even go to a toilet. I could faint there. Then I could wake up even after even six hours. All by myself. 
So I took it as a joke. As normal. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't. Then my aunts came in. Took me to the hospital. The situation was in the hospital. I could not even go for a short call. I had to use pipes. So the situation also worsened. I moved to several hospitals in Kenya. And the worst is the referral hospital. There is where I saw so many things. Uh, I could be taken to a ward. Nice ward. But due, due to my situation, Blood, blood was flowing all over my body, everywhere. Every opening. My nose. I was packed even like a small baby, wrapped with pampas. Because there was continuous bleeding, continuous bleeding. The doctors got fed up with me. I was transferred to another ward. Which is just next to the mortuary. Where those who are, who are very sick, they don't, they don't have hope of life. Those who could fall dead any time, they were taken. They could die seven people per day, six or seven. When I read the words, I was with my uncle. The bed that was empty, it was only one, but not just empty, it had, it had one dead body. Since I was sick and I was at the wheelchair, say, I told my aunts and my uncles, no, I'm very tired. They were complaining, no, let him go to another bed, but there were no beds. I told them, Get that dead body down. I want to lie on that, on that bed. That was what happened. My aunts got afraid. But as a man, and what I was feeling, made me lie to that bed. It was only after a day, the person who was lying next to me, the beds were so close to each other. This guy died. Facing me. You can imagine that feeling. The person lying next to you dies and faces you with eyes open. And for that person to be moved from that bed, it could take even Six hours or seven hours. All you have to do is face the other side. Two hours later, the other person who is, sitting, who is lying next to just on your right side dies again, facing you. All what you have to do now is to lie like this, facing upside. This is a true testimony. I was with my uncle. And he was so funny. He could tell me, Brother, you're next. Yeah, I, I loved him. I loved him because those words, those words gave me some strength. Now I told him no. And never. It can never be me. Then I was there. So lonely and afraid. Deep inside me. Saying. Yeah, but it's true. I'm the next one. Since everybody is facing me. It's like, it's like they are calling me. But uh, you could even see a muzungu coming. Looking at me. Just, just looking at me. I could, I could feel that, that uh, I could get healed. Because he's a stranger from another country. All the Kenyans have tried, they have failed. But I thank God for my aunt here. The time 
the time I was to come to this place, I didn't even knew that I was coming to Uganda. I was so weak. I didn't even see light for the, like four, four months. You know what happened? My aunt was watching some uh, program in our, in our Sayari TV. Yeah. Following closely the programs of this uh, church, the prophet Samuel Kakande church, and then down there, there are contacts. When people at home were planning where I was to be buried, when I was still alive, the man of God, through my aunt who called him and told him, I, have, I got a situation here, which is worsening. The man of God prayed. That is what she told me. And I believe even, the, even people at the custom didn't even give the passport to the prayers. The prayers just went through the borders to Kenya. For that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. I woke up from that bed. And you can imagine somebody sick for like many weeks standing up on his feet all of a sudden people would say these are last kicks of a dying horse. Oh, this guy is dying. Yeah. But I gained that strength to travel all the way from Kenya to Uganda. Thank God I came to this place. A sickness that had uh, been on my back for the last last, like four months. Only a single day. Through the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, I was healed. That is what happened. And I'm sure you know what cancer is. Since then, that is why I'm here lively. He gave a prophecy while we were dining with him in his house. And he said to me, You'll be in the forces. You'll be in the Kenyan forces. And right here I stand. Clap your hands for Jesus. Right here I stand to salute this man of God. Prophet Samuel Kakande. I salute you. Thank you, Jesus. Now, as you can see the pictures, yeah, I was employed by the government. Government, My appointment letter is here. I went to the National Youth Service. I trained for six months. After the, the, the training, which is hard. It's a hard training, training in but I managed it. Then in 2009, I was employed with the government as a Kenyan police. So I've been working, I've worked at the borders for seven years. And as you can see in this picture, here we have undergone a training by the U.S. forces. The British forces come and train us. Even the Russians come. So as to manage the borders. Through the man of God who put his hand on me. I maneuvered all those years. And here I am. Thanking God for him. You can see these are my colleagues. These are the Somali border. Here is my wife. I got married. I got a son. So I'm here to say thank you to the man of God.
Let me give a message to people watching out there. To my country, Kenya. And I will put it in Swahili. All Kenyans who are watching me, wherever you are, and other countries abroad. I want to tell you one thing. My name is Omega Lenin. Many of you know me. The problems I passed through. You had lost hope. People were arranging for my burial. When I came here. I was prayed for by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. After the prayers, I got totally healed. It's now 13 years. I've never gotten any other sickness or disease. I've never got any sickness. And if I'd been sick, I wouldn't have gone all those trainings. So I beseech you, my fellow Kenyans, the healing is in Uganda. Come to the man of God. Thank you, thank you. Clap your hands for ah. Jesus. Mwenzangu, when I can be like this, for like two hours, two good hours, the only thing I've trained people, two hours, I can be like this, like four two hours, two good hours, just standing like this, I can press up, and 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 I Watch and see how perfect Jesus has made the life of Brother Lenin. A gentleman who came with cancer. So it's all because of the work of God. I want to thank the man of God wherever he is. He is like a father. He is my father. Thank you, Uganda. I love you, people. And I'll be coming back here. Thank you. Give Jesus an applause. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. Clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amina. My name is Omega Elizabeth. Pitiwa Omega Elizabeth. He is Lenin Omega. Ono Lenin Omega. All in all, we brought him here. And what happened happened. Ah. Uh, in our family, family yafe, we had that issue, cancer of the blood. And we had lost members of the family four years consecutively. I had, I had, lost, my, I had lost my mother, Mama yafa, followed by my brother, my father, my brother, and now him. And one of those people who died, the sister who died was actually his mother. And so as a family, we were so devastated. We were wondering who next. Because his situation was beyond. But glory be to God. The man of God. Prophet Samuel Kakande. Made a prayer. A special prayer that touched the entire family. And for the whole 13 years, we have never lost a close member of the family. We have been healthy, healthy, more than healthy. So this is like home. I appreciate you, man of God. I appreciate you, servants of God, in this place. And from today, I have learned a lot in this place. In the name of Jesus.